So there's the uh, Kung Fu training and background coming. Demonstrated by Al Kaizi. The yin and yang respect bow. Saluting all four corners of the arena. One of a scheduled three. Oh, Mr. Mark Goddard not happy with something and he is asked for... Yeah, I think there's too many people in that corner. He wants to make sure he only allowed three corner men, I believe, or two corner men. Clock back on. Yeah, as you hear, this is definitely the locals' favourite fight. There's a lot of support from both these guys. Both very, very dangerous campaigners. Left, left, right from Dia. Tries to find a way in. But uh, you have to admit, al is he's fast, isn't he? Both these guys. Inside kick, being chased by the Cameroonian. He drives forward. al locks him in. Tries a body slam. And locking in there himself, Dia. But there's the takedown right round the back. Beautiful, Brad. That was a clever outside trip here to get his man to the canvas. He got at the body lock, but... You know, obviously with uh, uh, Diaz's defense, it felt very strong, so he had to attack the legs straight down into into a mount position. So Let's see if he can try and work, get a bit of posture up, try and get a bit of ground to pound. At the moment, he's just trying to control the position. So the Osotogari, that's the trip. Down he goes. But actually, uh, al Kaizi in the uh, operating position here, from the top, trying to be held in closely by Dia, but uh, he's in full mount, but that was great from Dia, he bucked his man and off he goes. This time, oh, al Qaizi has the guillotine, or has he? Trying desperately to lock it on. He's got good purchases in ABC, but at athleticism, he's got a higher guillotine. He he's attack. got the guillotine, it's the submission, it's all over! Three minutes, 25 seconds left in round one. You saw by... You saw by the athleticism of, of Dia, you know, he was, you see how crazy he was very, very, very careful of uh, of him losing that position. But you saw the athleticism, you know, so uh, it was a great, great job uh, of Dia to get back to his feet, but gave up his neck in the process. And, uh, you know, al easy you know, doing a great job to get uh, purchase that neck and a high elbow guillotine there and it forces the tap. al easy burgles the submission in the first round. What a performance from the royal fighter. He grabs the belt and uh, Shahe Yerevenian says, you may have to wait a while for that. But I'm telling you, al Kaizi, what a performance because that was a real handful, wasn't it? Juarez Dia. From nowhere, the crazy Cameroonian bucked, he twisted, but look at that intent. Yeah, he had him there. Dia did the right thing. He tried to jump up a little bit. What he needed to do was just turn and go to his back. Yeah, and just give up position, you know. But that was tight, that was a really oh, good... That's the choke was coming along now in the last few years. A high upper guillotine is putting everyone out in the gym. Well, Dia almost helped it, didn't he, by straightening his body out. It gave a little bit more room, the opening between the chin and the chest to force that forearm in. Ali al Kaizi in the first round. Three minutes, 25 left on the clock. Hardly broken sweat. How frustrating must that be for Juarez Dia? He almost threw it away, didn't he? Walked into that, eyes wide open. The submission win, Ali al -Kaizi. What a great, great performance. What a great finish. That was decisive. And that's what we want to see here at Phoenix Fighting Championships.